Hello, calculus fans. Let's talk about projections. Let's think about vectors a and b, and there'll be two different pictures that we'll consider. So these two pictures, one where b kind of points in the same direction as a, one where b points away from a. We're going to define something called the vector projection of b onto a. And then this is the notation that we're going to use, where we're kind of putting the vector a as a subscript. It's defined as in these pictures. So the red vector is the projection of B onto A. Think of the projection of B onto A as the shadow of B as a light source is shining down upon A. Now, we're also going to want to talk about the scalar projection of B onto A. And this is also called the component of B along A. It's defined to be the length of this vector projection. Now I put length in quotes, I'll talk about that in a moment. And what we'll write is comp of B in the direction of A. That's the component of B along A. Now, from the picture, we can see that the length is length of B cosine theta. But notice that this is a negative number when theta is strictly bigger than pi over 2, or less than or equal to pi. So that's why we put length in quotes. It's technically not a length unless theta is less than pi over 2. So maybe we can call it a signed length, where the sine of cosine theta matters. Let's give a nice formula for the scalar projection. So the scalar projection of b onto a is just the length of b cosine theta. Multiply top and bottom by the length of a, and we end up in the top with length of a, length of b cosine theta. That's just a dot b. So here we get a nice formula for the scalar projection of b onto a. Now we're going to use this in different circumstances, so you certainly want to know this formula. Now the vector projection of b onto a is a vector of length comp b in the direction of a. Again, length in quotes because it's not technically a length. So what we'll do to get this vector projection is we'll take a unit vector in the direction of a and then multiply by the component of b in the direction of a. So here what you should see is that we've started with a unit vector in the direction of A, and then we multiply by the component of B in the direction of A. Component of B in the direction of A is A dot B over the length of A. And then we can move things around so we end up with A dot B over the length of A squared times the vector A. Notice that this thing in parentheses is a scalar. And then the simplest possible formation we can come up with is a dot b over a dot a times the vector a. Again, keep in mind that the expression in parentheses is a scalar, because when you compute the dot product of two vectors, you get a scalar. a dot a is the same thing as the length of a squared. Okay, that's all for now.